this is Elizabeth with Train the K9, and this is my model Rex. He's an eight month old Cane Corso. And today, what we're going to go over is the number one life saving command for your dog, and that is stay. And you're asking yourself, why is this the number one life saving command? It's because if your dog happens to get out of a gate or run away from you while you're on a walk, your dog ends up in the median and surrounded by traffic. If you ask your dog to stay, would it? Because if you're only training your dog with treats and you don't currently have chicken available, is your dog actually going to do what you ask it to? And that is why it's super important for us to actually train our dogs without treats. So dogs respond well to variable reward. And what I'll show you now is the way to start training your dog. First of all, you want a sterile environment. There are a couple of distractions around here right now, so this is not a sterile environment for Rex but you wanna make sure that it's in a place where you have very low noise. You don't have cats or birds or squirrels running around. So you're gonna ask your dog to sit or to lie down. Rex is already in the sitting position. So what you're going to do is you're gonna ask your dog to sit and you can supplement this with hand signals as well. The hand signal for stay is simply holding your hand up sort of to say stop like this. So I'm ask Rex to sit, he's gonna stay and you're gonna take your leash and you're simply going to wrap it around your dog. This is the first step. It's really just to provide a small distraction for your dog in a way that they're comfortable with. So when your dog is calm like this as you're doing this, you can then move forward. The way to do that is then you're gonna have your dog go to a down position. Down. Good boy. And then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna wrap the leash around the dog's head. Down. Good boy. You're gonna wrap the leash around like this, and then you're gonna start moving in semicircles around while the dog is staying. And you can notice I'm still using my hand signal. So you're gonna start in sort of half circles like this. And then if the dog is doing really well, always make sure that you give them some attention in the middle and remind them to stay. Because one thing when you're teaching a dog and you move toward it to give affection, they oftentimes think that that's a command, it's okay to get up. So always reinforce the stay command. Then you're gonna make a full circle because you want the dog to stay and not actually be able to see you and to still do this. And then you're gonna go in the other direction. So you'll continue to do this and then you're gonna widen the circle. So you may end up needing to get a little bit of a longer leash, but you'll step further away and then you'll continue to walk further around the dog. Good boy. Stay, good puppy. So the next step is you're actually gonna step over your dog. So if you've never stepped over your dog, specifically if it's not a puppy, you can start by making sure that your dog is comfortable with your foot near its face. You don't wanna just automatically step over a dog if you've not made sure of this. So Rex is comfortable with this, but if you're trying to teach it, you're just gonna kinda of raise your foot up, raise your foot over different parts of the dog's body, and then you're gonna ask your dog to stay, and you're gonna step over the dog. This provides a distraction. Good boy, stay. Then you can drop the leash when the dog gets to a place where he's very good and calm, stay. And you're gonna walk around the dog, almost like the points of a star. And you're gonna continue to walk around, not in any specific pattern, because that's truly what you're trying to avoid, is that dogs are pattern-driven animals, and you want them to follow the command no matter where you are. Stay. Sit. That's a good boy. And always make sure you make it fun. Teaching a dog is usually in about 15 minute increments because just like kids who are doing sports or activities, it needs to be challenging and fun at the same time. So make sure you're constantly giving positive reinforcement. And as you can see, Rex is really good with just getting affection. Um, and this is something that's super important. So as I mentioned, the way to do it is you're gonna start out moving the leash around the neck, have the dog lie down, do the same thing, make small circles, larger circles, and eventually step over the dog and move in points of a star. So this is Elizabeth and Rex with Train the Canine. Thank you.